How's it going guys? It's Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we're going to do menu number two of the 1987 U.S. military ration. So this is menu number two in our box of antique rations and this one is ham and chicken loaf with a bean component. Well that sounds awesome. So let's go ahead and get her cut open. We'll go to the back. We'll cut open the back and on the bottom both. Take our trusty little razor knife. We're just gonna slice it like this. Slice it all the way through. We should be able to get her out now. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Kinds of odd stuff. All right. First of all, we have the fruit mix. I remember, right? This is dehydrated fruit mix. You could either dehydrate it or you could put it with water. It feels kind of crunchy. I don't see any date on it, probably because it never goes bad. We got beans with tomato sauce. That sounds interesting. The beans, water, tomato paste, sugar, corn oil, corn oil. Uh, modified food starch, salt, onion powder, spices, garlic powder. Well, that sounds downright, downright ugly. It's stamped in the box, the date of it, but just can't make it out. We got our crackers. Crackers don't have no date on them. We know these are from '87, uh, give or take a year. Like a big hard clump of something in the bottom of that guy. Uh, this is the beverage, a grape beverage. And this will have aspartame in it in a crazy amount. Uh, 279th day of 1987. And the cheese spread. No, I'm sorry. This is peanut butter. The peanut butter usually is good. And it feels good. The cheese spread on yesterday's video, let me tell you guys, it was not good. It was not good at all. It smelled like uh, dirty socks. There's no date on that guy. This is the ham and chicken loaf. And accessory packet. That's not going to have a date. And what we got here? Just one spoon. Looked like it was two at first. Let's go and open up the ham and chicken loaf. Smoke flavoring added. So this is uh, ham cured with water, salt, sugar, sodium, tripoly phosphate, sounds deadly. Uh, sodium, whatever the hell that is. Smoke flavoring, cooked chicken, egg whites, cracker meal, water, chicken. Uh, Monosodium glutamate and white pepper. That's five ounces of it, 142 grams. And this is packed by uh, Shelf Stable Foods, Evansville, Indiana. Let's go and crank her open and see what we got here. That looks very dense and it's heavy. Here's the date. So I could pick anything out of this date. Just can't read it. It's so hard to read it. That's just not really legible. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the dry fruit mix. Let's see if we can tear it easily. Let's go ahead and just knife it. How about that? A trusty razor knife here. Cut her down the side. Trying to get that one piece for you guys. Well, that looks interesting. Trying to get that one piece, but I guess that wasn't really possible. Just so so light. Let me get up to the camera here and see. 
You guys can even see it. And it's just paper, paper light. Doesn't smell like anything. Like absolutely nothing. Maybe just a little bit of regular sugar is what it smells like. Okay, so we just grabbed a bottle of water. We're gonna put a little bit of it on here and just see. It's totally full, so let's just see what, see how it goes here. Weird, man. You see it's just turning back into fruit almost instantly. I don't know how much you're supposed to put on or I won't put too much on it. I'm gonna make it a soup. Put that off to the side, just kind of let that do whatever it's going to do. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and do the crackers next. And the crackers yesterday were really good. So let's go ahead and you hear the air come off of them. It seems like a lot of this fragile stuff, you just cut it open. Instead of trying to rip the package open. It's a lot more prone to come out one piece like that. We have two two crackers. They smell good. They smell just like the ones from yesterday. I mean, they smell fantastic, actually. Uh, let's see here. Before we get to the main entrees, we're going to get the accessory pack out. this accessory pack okay so the camera cut off and just happened to catch it cut off right when I was dumping the accessory pack we just dumped it out that's how the further we went and you can see the salt is kind of greasy it might be from this chocolate fudge bar it doesn't feel wet it don't really feel greasy it looks like it's got something on it set him off to the side this feels the same way but the coffee Coffee inside feels nice and nice and dry, like it didn't penetrate the package. This is coffee instant type one, 2.2 grams. We'll go to the sugar. The sugar's the same way. It might just be the pack. I mean, they feel kind of different. I'm not really sure. And the cream substitute, non-dairy, it's hard as a rock. I think their chocolate fudge bar pretty much took out the soap pack. Your TP for your bunghole. That seems good. I'll set that off to the side. Our chiclets. They're kind of brown looking a little bit. All I can smell on anything is these matches and that chocolate bar. i set those off to the side for right now. Let's go and crank open this chocolate bar and uh, get him plated up real quick. Looks kind of smashed. It just smells like hot cocoa that you buy in the store. It doesn't smell bad whatsoever. And uh, if we go ahead and break them open, it don't look bad. We'll set it off to the side here, right there. Slightly greasy, but not terrible. And our matches are kind of greasy too. We'll set those off to the side too. I'll go ahead and make some of the drinks up here. What well, I do not see in this one, I do not see any kind of chocolate, any kind of hot cocoa, which is a shame because that stuff yesterday was really good. We're gonna go ahead and crank this guy open, get the corner of him cut. And this is the grape. And let me see how much this makes here, 12 ounces. Well, we don't have a 12 ounce glass, but we'll put most of it in there. How about that? We'll get her close. Kind of clumpy, but I mean, we'll leave a little bit in the bottom of it. Really not bad. You can see here. I don't know. We'll go ahead and 
put some water in it and mix it up and see what it does. It's weird because it foams almost like Alka-Seltzer even though it's not fizzy when you drink it. Let's go ahead and get her spoon out. That there. Give her a little stir. Like I did yesterday. I gave her a little bit of stir and we let it set and it seemed like it worked out pretty good. I keep checking the camera to make sure nothing happens where it turns off again. I mean, a little bit skittish. If he's doing these mill videos, once the camera shuts off or once there's a problem, once you've already fixed the mill, it's not like you just go back and redo it. You know, on the car videos, another channel, if something happens to the camera or I don't catch it, yeah, you put something on a part on, and it sucks, you have to go back and redo it, but it, you can at least do it with the mill videos once you, especially these rare ones, you can't just go buy them again. Uh, it doesn't work like that on a lot of these older ones. We're just kind of kneading the peanut butter up here and getting all the dryness out of it. We'll give it a little bit of kneading here. We'll set them off to the side and we'll come back to it. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and get our... Oh, I thought I busted the bag at first. Let's go ahead and get our coffee water in the microwave and get it heated up in our cup and uh, get that made. Okay, so our coffee's water is done. It's almost the point of boiling. Ooh. Okay, it's just outer coating. I thought the bag popped open. Let's just go ahead and cut this thing open and see. It feels like it's okay. I'll cut it over the top of there. Yep, it looks really good actually. Just like the one yesterday. Like there's no, I don't know if you can even see down in there. Go ahead and dump that in there. It's a little bit weird looking. It's a little bit fuzzy looking. I don't know, I think it's all right. Go and mix her up here real good. Think about it, man. That water is for sure hot. I'll make sure it's not melting my tray. Nope. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So we're down to, we're going to go into the peanut butter real quick. We'll see if we can't just snip the edge of this off. Something like that. We'll go ahead and get a cracker up here. I needed this pretty damn good. It looks really good, actually. It don't look bad at all. It smells just. It smells like straight out just peanuts. A little bit out the bag. I mean, it's good. It's really makes your mouth dry, but kind of way peanut butter is. All right. So that being said, I'll kind of leave that maybe right there. And at this point in time, I maybe should heat this up. I don't know if it's even good, so we're not too worried about heating it up. Uh, let's go ahead and just plate a little bit of it up and see what's going on. More importantly, let's cut the bag open and see what's going on. I'm trying to squish it down away from where I'm going to cut it at. I'm going to slice it like that. And then... I don't know, man. 
doesn't particularly smell bad. Let's go ahead and get some of it out here. Or maybe all of it. Let's see if we can just squeeze it out like a big turd here. It smells kind of sour. It really does. I don't know if we should try that or not. It has like a like a sour milk kind of smell to it. Any anyway, rate, let's go ahead and undo our beans. Let's see what the beans are all about. The beans should be good. Two hundred thirty second day of nineteen eighty seven. Beans with tomato sauce. I'm going to go on a limb and say that's not good either. It just has that weird, acidic, metally kind of smell to it. That's definitely not good. I can tell by smelling it. Definitely spoiled. Oh, it's just so, so strong. It smells just like that chicken, man. Nasty. I'm gonna try to set this so it doesn't fall over and spill over the table. That is definitely gonna have to go in the trash can outside and not inside. Put that guy back over there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try the fruit first. This one's a pretty rough one. I would love to be able to try that chicken but man, you guys know how chicken is. If it's bad, it's bad. Either you're good or you're barfing your guts out. Try the fruit, we know it's good. Still don't smell like anything. Actually tastes perfectly fine. Don't tastes bad at all. I got some, it's like marshmallows possibly. Some cherries, some pineapple. I don't know if that might be peaches. Hmm. Okay. I'll go ahead and try a cracker. This is gonna be a a very dry bite. Peanut butter's dry and the cracker's dry. I'll go ahead and do it so we can't get all over the place. Yep. Man. Tell you what. Take a bite of that. Only thing you think about is taking a drink of water immediately. Let's drink some water. Let's go ahead and try our drink out. And you give it one more stir, possibly. Make sure everything's stirred up on it. And remember, I told you guys you don't want to drink much of this. It's full of aspartame. And they were thinking that's what's leading up to the Gulf War syndrome. I don't remember exactly what that was. I think it was stomach cramps and all kinds of weird stuff going on. Let's go take a smell of it. It smell like nothing. Nothing at all. A very little sip of it, it's fine. It's a real light grape flavor. It tastes like I probably should have put the whole package in it, put about three fourths of it in. Not bad. Let's test out our coffee here. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but we'll take a sip of it for the sake of the camera anyway. Yeah. I mean, for coffee, it's good. 
Uh, let's go ahead and try the chocolate bar. It's kind of waxy feeling. Smells good. Kind of a peanut butter chocolate middle to it. Kind of chewing it up a little bit before I swallow it, make sure it's not going to start burning my mouth. All right, so here's what the deal is, guys. These two things here. I know if I eat this and it's not good, I'm going to be barfing my guts out. We're not going to do that. This, as it has the tomato sauce in it, it's so acidic. It has such a metal smell to it. And you can tell by looking at the beans, they're real dark if you look at them real close. Almost like a, uh, I don't know. I'm going to here and bring you in. I see over here how they're kind of dark looking. I don't know. And this stuff here, it's got a lot of fat on it. I mean, it could be all right. It's just not worth taking the chance on. Get some close-ups here. The fruit salad is probably the best thing. It's kind of mushy, but hell, it's really not bad. And you can see your chocolate bar where I bit into it. It looks like peanut butter. But it looks like chocolate where I just broke it. It's kind of a strange deal. And then our peanut butter crackers, you know what those look like. That's no big no big mystery. But yeah, we're going to go and leave this for this one, guys. I do this to you. I like to try everything, but it's just too risky. So that's pretty much all for menu number two of the 1987 U.S. Military MRE. And this one was also made in uh, McAllen, Texas by Right Way Food Company. It's like the last one. Uh, that's all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked today's video. If you did, stay tuned tomorrow for menu number three.